this course is presented to you free of charge by TTJ Tech Services of www.ttjtech.biz and by Stir It Up of www.stirritup.com. And remember, stir is spelled with a U, not an I. So that's S-T-U-R-I-T-U-P dot com. TTJ Tech Services and Stir It Up are pleased to offer this course to you to the glory of God and to the benefit of all those who listen. Welcome to this session of More with the Mac. Today, this section is going to be about system preferences. I'm sorry, it's called system settings now. They changed that about two OSs ago. Maybe it was Monterey. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. But anyways, you can get to it a couple of different ways. You can go to the dock, hit the letter S until you hear system settings. Or you can go to the Apple menu, VO down until you get to system settings that way. Or, like me, you can have a commander and just launch it. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to launch it. System appearance window sidebar row 16 of 39. Okay, you heard voiceover say voice 16 of whatever. That's your choices that you have in here. You can also go to the Apple menu, go over to view. Actually, let's see what it's called because I don't think it's called view anymore. Menu bar, Apple system setting file, edit view. All right, it is called view. And if you go down, it'll have the system settings in alphabetical order. View. Back command, left bracket, forward command, right bracket, search command F, about, accessibility, airdrop and hand up, check mark, Apple ID, Apple Karen Warrant, Bluetooth. Alright, so you get the idea, it's all in alphabetical order. Now, my buddy John Penarizzo or MacfordTheBlind.com, check him out if you get a chance or if you have never heard any of his recordings or teachings, because he does a great job. Um, he has done an extensive detailed um, demonstration of these settings. I'm not going to touch on everything. I'm just going to touch on a few highlights. So if you want to hear his recordings or his his uh, courses, go to MacForTheBlind.com or you can search for his podcast, Mac for the Blind, And that's the word for F-O-R, not the number four. Anyway, so let's go over to the table. Search text field, blood appearance, toolbar, appearance, search sidebar. Row 16 of 39. Okay, it's a sidebar. And as you know by now, to interact with this, you're going to do voiceover, shift, and the down arrow. In sidebar, row 16 of 39. Now, right now, it's at um, 16 of 39. I'm going to go all the way up to the top so we can start from the beginning. Row 1. Clifton Miller Sr., Apple ID. All right, it says that's my Apple ID. We're not going to go in there. We know what's in there. You know, you can set up if, what you want to see on your Mac. Photos, contact, calendar, reminders, keychain, all that good stuff. Family. That's where you have family sharing. Um, you know, t- decide what apps you want to share. If you want to share a payment method, whatever the case may be. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. That's, um, you know, self-explanatory. You connect to your Wi-Fi network. Make sure multiple networks are set up for different areas, whatever the case may be. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Self-explanatory. I use a Bluetooth keyboard, Bluetooth headset, so that's where I would go to see that. Network. Network. This is where you can go in to see if you are connected to the internet. What um, I, um, internet protocol you're using, IP6, whatever the case may be. I use Wi-Fi as well as having an Ethernet plugged in, Ethernet cord plugged in because I use a network attached stores, better known as a NAS. Um, that's a story for another day though. VPN. VPN, virtual private network I do not use on my Mac. Notifications. Notifications. I guess we can explore this one because this might be something that you might want to set up. So what you'll do, you don't have to deal space bar or anything like that. You stop interacting. Out of sidebar. And then you go over to the grid. Notifications. You said it's here's notification, but I'll let you hear the help tag. You are currently on a scroll area. To begin interacting with the contents of this scroll area, press control, option, shift, down arrow. All right. You heard what he said. So we have to interact with here. In notifications. 20. Notification center shows your notifications in the top right corner of your screen. You can show and hide notification center by clicking the clock in the menu bar. Show previews. When unlocked, show previews. 
Allow notifications when the display is sleeping. Off. Allow notifications when the display is sleeping. Switch. Allow notifications when the screen is locked. On. Allow notifications when the screen is locked. Switch. Allow notifications when mirroring or sharing the display. Off. Allow notifications when mirroring or sharing the display. Switch. Application notifications. Express VPN. Off. FaceTime. Badges. Sounds. Banners. Okay, so here's my notification, or my apps, I should say, that I can set notifications for. Express VPN off. Application notifications. <laughs> Express VPN off. So Express v VPN, you can see I have those off. FaceTime badges, sounds, banners. Badges, sounds. What did you say? FaceTime badges, sounds, banners. Badges, sounds, banners, which means it's going to give me a count of how many I've missed, it's going to give me a sound when it happens, and it's going to be a banner, which means it's going to go away right away. Find my badges, sounds, time. Same for find my game center, badges, sounds, banners, time. Now, this doesn't even bother me. It doesn't even get in the way, but I'm just going to go in here so you can see what you have to do here. Out of notifications, notificate in notification, notifications, should allow, allow on, allow notify, allow on, FaceTime, find my game center. All right, game center. So, what, what, let's see what we have to do here. You are currently on a button inside of a scroll area. To click this button, press control, option, space. To stop interacting with the scroll area, press control, option, shift, up arrow. All right, so he's telling me that it's a button, so I'm going to deal a space bar on it. Game center. All right, now I'm in the game center preferences for the notifications. Game center. Interact. In game center. Now, I don't want to hear anything from game center, even though I don't play any games, and I'm not signed up for any games, but I don't want to hear nothing, so. On. Allow notifications. Switch. So I'm going to have the old space bar and turn that off. Off. Login items. Background. <laughs> game center. None. It says none, because I have it turned off. Banners. Banners. Alerts. Banners appear in the upper right corner and go away automatically. Alerts stay on screen until dismissed. Okay, I want him to hear that, read that for you. So, alerts are not going to go away until you dismiss them. Banners flash in the screen. Voice over read it if it's quick, if it's uh, slow enough. But if not, it's just going to be in a notification center if you allow it to be. Allow time sensitive alerts. Dimmed on. Allow time sensitive alerts. Yeah, as you can see, it's dimmed because I turned this one off. So, let's go back with the command that we heard in the view menu, which is command left bracket. Back notifications. Notification. Have to interact again. In notifications. Notification center. And of course it takes you back to the top, so I have to scroll back the old right arrow or down arrow until I get to the one that I want. Show previews. Allow not allow allow applicants FaceTime. About five game center. Off. Alright, there's game center. Let's see what's next. Home. Badges. Sound. That's my home app. I'll leave all that alone. It doesn't really bother me on the Mac because I don't have much on my home now anyway, so. Kerberos. Badges. Sounds. I have no idea what that app is. Loop back. Off. Loop back is off uh, because I don't need any notifications from that. Mail, badges, banners. This is an interesting one because I check my mail frequently, but I don't need the notifications to bother me or tell me when I have mail. So let's deal space bar on this button. On show notification, show in notification center. On show in notif Now it's on. I don't want that on. Off. Login items. Because I don't want to see mail in my notification center. I, just, I get a lot of email and I don't need to know when I get it, so. Show in notification center. On. Show notifications. Unlock screen. Switch. <laughs> Off. Login item. And I also don't need to. System. And I also don't need. System set. I also don't need to see them in my, uh. I also don't need a notification for them. Show notific. Off. Show not. Show in notific. Off. Show in notif. Badge application icon. On badge application. Badge application. System. That just means system settings. That means this dictation thing is bothering me, so I'm gonna fix that. But anyways, that's basically gonna tell you when you go to your mail in your dock how many unread email you have in your inbox. It's not gonna tell you about any other mailboxes. I have custom mailboxes that you'll see once we go into the mail app, but it's only gonna tell you what your count is in your inbox. It's different on the phone because if you have a unified inbox, then it'll tell you for all the accounts. But that's you know how that works. Show previews. Default. Show previews. It's asking me if I want to see previews, which I do not. So we're gonna the space bar. Menu. Check check mark. Default. Always. When unlocked. Never. Now I'm gonna put mine on never. Never. Log it. Now what's it saying by saying um defaults is basically whatever the default for your notification center is. That's what it's gonna be. So whatever you set it up at the top, that's what's gonna be. But you can change them on the fly. Notification grouping. Automatic notification grouping. 
automatic again because that's the default at the top help and that's it so we're gonna command back or what is that left bracket now now badges banners blue back off this time it actually stayed on the the last one I was on so mail now back messages badges sounds banners time sensitive critical okay so you heard all that there's critical time sensitive alerts banners all that we're gonna go into this because I don't need to see messages in my notification center I don't need to see a preview but I do like to hear when the message is sent if I'm not in the app for it to be read so let's go customize that messages all right messages let's deal right arrow messages in that on allow notifications switch all right and allow notifications is on which I do want it on but guess what I don't want messages none what does that say what? messages on to allow notifications on allow yeah, notifications yeah, we, switch we want no, allow notifications on messages none let me see something here login items backward banners none oh okay so we're at the part where we want to if we, we want it to be an alert or a banner so let's see what mine is on banners alerts banners appear in the upper right corner. all right mine was set on none and that's not what i want so alerts. so let's put this on banner banners login items back none banners <laughs> alerts banners appear in the upper right corner and go away automatically allow critical alerts on allow critical alerts switch yeah i have mine on critical alerts because i do want to hear that if i'm doing something else such as a focus or something you won't know that i'm in a focus but the computer will allow time sensitive alerts on allow time sensitive alerts switch that's also on show notifications on lock screen on show notifications on lock screen switch this is not even necessary for me to change i could turn it off but i never lock my screen anyway besides the fact that nine times out of ten it's always off so it doesn't even matter so this is a toggle i don't even need to mess with show with notification center on show with notification center switch now that's the one i do want to turn off because i don't want to see messages in my notification center because i check them often enough where it's not even necessary off login badge application icon on badge application icon switch that's technically not even necessary either because number one i don't keep messages on my dock because i have a commander for it and two again i'm always checking messages anyway messages and mail is probably the two apps that i spend the most time in play sound for notification on play sound definitely want to play sound with for notification show previews default show previews it's on default let's see what the choices are menu check mark always when unlocked never never i'm gonna put mine on always when always always login items background <laughs> show previews always show previews notification grouping automatic note help Help. Okay, and then we're at the end. And the reason I put that on always is because that enables VoiceOver to read me the message when I'm not actually in the app or the app is open. So if somebody sends me a message, it will read me the message even if the app is not open or part of it, and I can just go listen to it or read the whole thing when I when I'm ready. All right, Command left bracket. Messages, badges. Right. Good. It stayed on messages. So let's see what the next app is. Microsoft Update Assistant off. I'm glad that one is off. This is Microsoft um, Update Assistant. I have the Microsoft Suite installed because, for whatever reason, people who come from Windows think they need Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all that good stuff. Based on the, except the fact that once they learn the Mac, they figure out like I did that you don't need those things because Pages is the equivalent of Word, does better. Keynote is a equivalent of PowerPoint, does better. Numbers is a equivalent of Excel, does better. You, you get my point and I'm not just saying that because I'm an Apple user I've used both and I use both operating systems I actually grew up on Windows so that's not a stab at Microsoft that's just letting you know that based on my experience and my opinion not saying it's the right or wrong way that the Apple group of apps does the exact same thing if not better than Microsoft does so notes off now notes is off Again, something I check very often, so I don't need notifications. Like if I'm collaborating with somebody, I don't need to know when they make updates or whatever. So when I'm on my Mac, that's not necessary. I do have that feature turned on on my phone now. OneDrive off. OneDrive is also off. Another Microsoft pro um, product. It's they're actually their cloud storage. I keep it around for a couple of different reasons. One, because you need Microsoft to play the Xbox, which me and my family do. Two. I have 40 gigabytes of free storage that now you only get like 
10, I think, for Microsoft, or maybe it's 7 or 5. And 3, I have that files that I back up there that I have in a couple of different places because you never know. P Cloud Drive off. P Cloud. This is my second favorite cloud service behind iCloud. That's because I have lifetime storage of 2 terabytes and I have files stored there. This is actually where I store all my recordings of all the classes that I edit, stuff like that. But it's a great service. Doesn't take up space in your Mac and all that good stuff. But I don't need notifications for it. Reminders, badges, sounds, alerts, time now, sensitive. We're going to go into reminders because Cliff doesn't use reminders. So that's the space bar on here. Reminders, reminders, reminders. Interact with the scroll area. In on, allow notifications, switch. And we're going to turn this off. Off. Because I don't, I don't use reminders at all on my Mac, actually, or on my phone. You know, I'll set an alarm. I use the calendar to each their own. As we say in TTJ and stir it up personal preference there's no need for me to even continue because I turned this off everything else is gonna be dimmed so command left bracket back notifications notification vertical split notification and of course this time it took me back to the top of the list In so let's go back down to reminders no show pre express VPN face get out per loop back off Microsoft notes one drive P cloud drop reminders off tips alerts tips there's alerts uh I mean, it gets it gives you little snippets here and there about what's new in VoiceOver or the Mac period. So I leave that on. It doesn't bother me. It pops up maybe once a week, maybe once a month. Just depends on how often there's tips that they think that you want to know. Wallet, values, sounds, time sensitive. Now I don't use Wallet on my my Mac, so there's no need for me to go in here to turn it out off. But it's you know the usual. Help. And that's it. Help. Now, you did notice that there's probably a lot of stuff that's missing here. What I did is I, I, I set up my Mac as new maybe once every two years, and this is that time. So instead of doing it and just having my Mac ready, I'm doing it as to teach this class to show you how to do certain things. So that is, you actually, we need to go back. <sighs> yeah, that's notification. So let's go back. back VPN window. All right, so. Zoom. Tool, VPN, search text field, sidebar. All right, we're back in the sidebar. Going to interact. In network, VPN, notification, sound. All right, sound. That's where you would adjust your microphone. You would pick the headset or Bluetooth dial device you want to use, whatever the case may be. Focus. Focus, we all know what that is. You can turn on do not disturb. You can make a custom focus. Uh, your sleep timer is in here. And you can also make sure that it's checked across the board. So whenever you turn the focus on, it automatically does it on your Mac and your phone. Screen time. Screen time. If you have kids, you want to control what time they're on and off their devices, you can go in here and do that. I don't have mine set up. My wife takes care of that. General. General, this is an interesting one. We're going to go in here because this is, there's some stuff in here that you wouldn't think would be in here. Um, as you can notice, though, that these settings are in the same order as they are on iOS. So let's stop interacting. Out vertical splitter, general. All right, general, this is a scroll area, so we're going to interact with it. It's software update. Software update is in here. That's a new one because software update used to be in its own category. Storage. Storage, you can check with your storages. Um what they call it um, consolidate your storage so you don't download files until you need them and so it doesn't take a space in on your Mac from iCloud air dropping handoff air dropping handoff we all know what that is login items now login items this is where you would go to set up what you want to start up when you turn your Mac on whether it's Dropbox um, OneDrive a, whatever apps you may need to start up when you turn your Mac on Apple Karen warranty Apple Garen warranty, pretty self-explanatory. Language and region. Language and region. Date and time. Date and time. This is actually where you would go to set a custom voice for your clock on your Mac and stuff like that. Explore that. Check it out. You got to download voices. Yeah, I showed you how to do that in the last session. Sharing. Sharing. This is where you would actually go to change the name of your, your Mac if you so chose and to choose what files you want to share on your network. Time machine. Time machine. This is something I used to use very often, but don't use it at all anymore. But this is where you would go to set up your time machine to back up your Mac on a schedule, or um, you can have the backup every time you make a change. I used to do that. I don't do it no more. I keep everything in iCloud or on an external drive. So whenever I get a new Mac or I do this restore every two years, I just set everything up from scratch. And I never, I never restore from a time machine backup anymore. Transfer or reset. 
You could transfer or reset here. This is the same thing you would do on the phone. You would wipe the Mac, turn off Find My, turn off I, sign out of iCloud, and do all that to be able to sell your Mac or trade it in at the Apple Store. Startup disk. Startup disk. You would go in here to select what disk you want to start up with. For instance, this is the second disk I have on here or volume, for lack of a better term because I am setting this up as new but until I get it the way I want I have the old one to keep around so this is where I would go to select the other one to start up from when the computer starts start up there and that is the last one so command back or command left bracket back screen time window zoom tool screen search text field block sidebar back into the sidebar in sidebar general appearance appearance you know light dark mode whatever the case may be accessibility accessibility this is where you could go to set up spoken content when you want voiceover to speak hints other stuff like that go in there explore you can't mess nothing up if you you know get to a point where you think it's wrong you could just reset that to defaults control center control center you can also get to this by hitting command or not command but the o keys shift and the letter o this is where you show what items you want to be shown focus wi-fi bluetooth Whatever. Siri and Spotlight. Siri and Spotlight. I don't use Siri or Spotlight on my Mac. Um, I don't use Spotlight at all. Not even on my phone. Some people like it. Not my preference. Privacy and security. Privacy and security. This is where you go to give permission to apps to access certain files in your documents, your downloads folder, music, whatever the case may be. This is also where you would go to manage your extensions or to give permission to certain apps to access things. Desktop and dock. Desktop and dock. This is where I guess you would go to see the appearance to see what you want to. Let's actually let's go in here because I don't even know. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Out of sidebar. I never go in here. Desktop and dock. Desktop and dock. 42.9 percent. Zero percent. Position on screen. Bottom. Position. Yeah. This this is just an appearance thing. So we're not even gonna fool with this. Vertical split. Sidebar. In displays. Display. That's where you go to manage your displays. If you have one connected, I do not. Wallpaper. Wallpaper. Same thing. Background. I guess. Digital thing. Screen saver. Screen saver, same thing, to save your screen, what pops up when your screen saver activates, pictures, slideshow of your family, whatever the case may be. Energy saver. Energy saver, this is where you would go to, I guess, tell you, tell with the computer when you want to sleep, when to charge when you're on battery, stuff of that nature. I don't want, I'm on a Mac Studio, um, so I don't have a battery or the need to save energy. Energy saver, lock screen. Lock screen. Let's go explore this because there's some stuff in here that I think people don't think that is actually here. So. so lock screen. Lock screen. So we're gonna interact with the lock screen area. It never start screen. Start screen saver when inactive. Never. I have mine on. Saver. I have mine on. Never. Turn display off when inactive. Never. I have all mine on never because, like I said, I don't have a screen. Warning. Never letting in your require password after screen saver begins or display is turned off. That's a personal preference. Again. I don't have a screen, so can't nobody access my files anyway. And the Mac Studio never leaves my house. Never require show large clock. On lock screen, show 24 hour time. Off show 20, show user name and photo. On show user, show password hints. Off show pass, show message when locked. Show message when locked, toggle button. Show message when locked, set when switching user. Login window shows. Login window shows list of users selected radio button one of two. So this is where you would choose what you wanted to show at, at your logon screen. Login window shows name and password radio button two of two. Those are your two choices. Show the sleep restart and shut down buttons. On show the sleep restart and shut down buttons. Switch accessibility options. This is why I came in here because this is where you would actually set voiceover to turn on at startup. So let's interact here where it says accessibility. No visible title to interact on check accessibility options. All right, it's a button, so let's deal space bar. 14 items. Off zoom. Off voiceover. So we're going to go through these items and see what's in here. Scroll area 14 items. Done. Done. Turning off mouse keys. Mouse keys. All right, where is it at? Scroll area for accessibility. Voiceover. In text. Added off voiceover. Switch. So we want to turn voiceover on. On. Voiceover accessibility accessibility voiceover on voiceover zoom zoom off zoom switch. I don't need that on that no, no, no that's not the app the zoom it's not the app zoom this is the zoom that you would use on a screen for people that are low vision and want to make the text bigger accessibility keyboard star 
off accessibility keyboard star switch accessibility keyboard i don't need that that's sticky keys for people who have um issues with uh, motor skills and stuff like that and i don't need that sticky keys off sticky keys switch yep there that is slow keys off slow keys mouse keys off mouse turning off the feature disables that done all right done so this is where you would come to turn on voice already to start to start to begin at startup accessibility so i just hit done help and that's it help. so we're going to command the left bracket Back. energy saver window toolbar zoom toolbar energy saver search text field black side verticals sidebar back in the sidebar in lock screen login password users and groups login password now it says login password i'm assuming this is where you could change the password i've never actually went in here but you know that is that pretty much what it sounds like users and groups users and groups this is where you would go to create a new user for your computer if you have more than one person in the house that wants to use it and has their own file system passwords Pass password secure that a text of course it's gonna ask me for my password this is keychain basically and it's asking me to enter my password and i'm not going to because we're not doing that here. we're not doing that just it's just here passwords enter the path enter the path pa enter image sf vertical sidebar search text field sidebar in internet accounts internet accounts this is where you would go to login items background to put mail on your um other mail accounts on your computer on your mac other than icloud and because icloud you're going to sign it automatically it'll bring you to that screen all that but if gmail yahoo outlook aol whatever the mail services this is where you would go to bring those accounts to your mac game center game center we don't need to go in there wallet and apple pay well in apple pay you already know keyboard keyboard i'll come back to that in a second mouse there's the mouse self navigation stuff printers and scanners printers and scanners this is where you would go to you set up printers and my printer's not even on, on the network yet so i can't even set mine up um printers and scanners all right let's go back to keyboard mouse wallet and apple pay games internet accounts passwords users and group passwords internet accounts game center wallet and apple pay keyboard all right out of vertical square keyboard there's a few different categories in here with keyboard because you know you can do different things keyboard so we're going to interact here in keyboard press f and key to <laughs> do nothing press f and key to yeah so you can set your function key to do a few things let's see what it says here menu start dictation press show emoji and symbols change input source change input source all right so you can change the import source show emoji and symbols start dictation press f check mark do nothing check mark do nothing and i have mine on do nothing do nothing keyboard navigation on keyboard navigation keyboard switch. navigation of course you want that on use keyboard navigation to move focus between controls press the tab key to move focus forward and shift tab to move focus backward keyboard shortcuts all right you can set a keyboard shortcuts we'll go to that in a second text input text input input sources input sources us edit text replacements text replacements dictation and dictation microphone image microphone use dictation wherever you can type text and to start dictating use the shortcut or select start dictation from the edit menu i'm glad i came in here because i need to disable this i don't dictate on my mac off use dictation wherever right. you can type text all right it's already off languages languages english united states mine's on english edit. microphone source automatic usb audio shortcut press control key twice shortcut and let's turn this shortcut off menu off there we go off then that way when i hit the control key twice it's not coming up automatically because i don't use dictation shortcut press keys now edit text auto punctuation auto punctuation on auto punctuation on. about ask siri dictation and privacy that's about dictation and siri and privacy like i said i don't use siri dictation or what's the third one that i don't use and it's spotlight on my phone or on my computer so that doesn't even matter change keyboard type <laughs> set up keyboard help Okay, so this is where you would come to set up a different kind of keyboard. All right, so let's go back. 85.60. Press do nothing. Keyboard nav on. Keyboard navigate. Use keyboard. Keyboard shortcut. Text input. Keyboard shortcuts. Let's go to keyboard shortcuts. In dialog. All right. Sidebar. So there's a different. Thirteen. There's a few different. Um, Vertical splitter. Sidebar. There's a few different Vertical shortcuts 13. in here you can Launchpad do. Launchpad in display shortcuts. Launchpad and dock shortcuts. Launchpad and dock. Now this is where I go because I don't use. Um, iPad or not iPad, but um, the, uh, Mission Control, and I turn off all these shortcuts. So let's go in here. Change the shortcut. Double-click the key combination and then type the new keys. Table. 
Okay, All right. Dock hiding on off. Option Command D. So it tells you what to, what you can do here. So show launch pad none. Show launch pad none. Turn dock hiding on off. Option Command D. Okay, so that's all that's there. So to change the short. Let's go to the next one. Vertical split sidebar. In display shortcuts. Display shortcuts. Not even gonna go in there because I don't use a display. Mission control shortcuts. Mission control. Out vertical to change the short table. Mission control. Control up arrow. And I'll go in. I'll interact to see if this is even checked. In mission control. Checked mission control checkbox. It's checked, so I'm gonna uncheck it. Uncheck. Uninteract. Mission show notification center. Mission control. Control up arrow. <laughs> in mission uncheck mission control checkbox show notification center none. Now you can you used to be able to set um, a shortcut for notification center, but now since you can do the O in the letter O, you there's really no need to do that. Turn do not disturb on off none. You can set a shortcut or a key combination for do not disturb. I'll do that later. Application windows. <laughs> control down arrow. In app application when checked. Application unchecked. So I'm unchecking that because I don't want that shortcut to be, to be bothered with it. Show desktop. F11. I don't need that one In either. Checked. Show desktop. Unchecked. So I'm unchecking it. Show desktop. F11. Turn stage manager on off. None. In turn out of turn. Okay, so stage manager, that's a visual thing. Any, at least I, I, I don't use it, so I, I can't say it's a visual thing, but I don't use it. So there's no shortcut, cut, no shortcut key set for that. Mission control collapsed. Mission control collapsed. Let's expand this because this is what I like to turn off. Because you can hit the function keys and they'll take you someplace you don't even want to be. Row seven expanded. Move left to space. Control left arrow. In checked. Move unchecked. Let's uncheck that. Move right to space. Control right arrow. In checked, move up, uncheck, uncheck it. Now you have to interact with each of these to uncheck them or check them. Switch to desktop one, control so, one. So I'm interacting because I don't want I don't want to have I don't even have more than one desktop. In, so switch, uncheck, switch, check. Oh, uncheck. That one was already unchecked. So down arrow. Quick note, F and Q. F and Q. I actually like that shortcut because that would take me to notes automatically, and I can do a note on the fly so we're gonna leave that one alone quick note F and Q all right and that's the last one there so Out let's go back over to change the shortcut go back over to the sidebar vertical split <laughs> sidebar in keyboard shortcuts all right keyboard shortcuts let's go Out over here vertical to change the shortcut table it change change the way tab moves focus control F7 all right I don't I don't particularly mess with this one I don't even use my F function keys for much so I'm gonna leave that one alone turn keyboard access on or off control F1 in turn keyboard unchecked. I unchecked that. Out of change the way tab move in change change the way in table row one of nine checked change the way tab moves folk unchecked. I'm gonna uncheck that because I don't want to change the way my tab key focuses. This is that's per this is personal fractions. I'm just showing you how I set up my computer when I do a clean install. That's basically what we're doing. We're doing this together. Turn keyboard move focus to the menu bar. Control F2. Now I'm actually gonna leave that one the way it is because sometimes you're all the way over. But you heard what he said. Let's see. Turn keyboard move focus to the menu bar. Control F2. Control F2. You can go to the menu bar, and I guess you can do that with VOM2, but that's just another way of doing it. Move focus to the dock. Control F3. Control F3. Uh, I never use that, so let's turn that off. In move focus unchecked. <laughs> Down arrow. Move focus to active or next window. Control F4. Uh, I'll turn that one In, off too. Move unchecked. Move focus to the window toolbar. Control F5. That's a good one. Control F5 to go to the toolbar. So we're gonna leave that one checked. Move focus to the floating window. Control F6. Control F6. I don't need In, that. Checked. Move unchecked. Move focus to next window. <laughs> Command. Now he's not saying accent, but that's exactly what is the accent or the grove key, which is right above the tab key. I leave this checked because you want to be able to cycle between windows with command and that um, that key, whether you're on Safari or in Finder. Move focus to status menus. Control F8. Uh, I never use that. So move checked, move unchecked. Well, check that. Move focus to status. And that's the last one there. Move focus to status. Back to the sidebar. Move, move focus. To move out to chain vertical splitter sidebar. Row four thirteen in input sources shortcuts. Input sources. We'll leave that alone. I don't even know what that is really. Screenshot shortcuts. Screenshot shortcuts I don't use very often, so I'm just gonna skip that. Presenter overlay. Presenter overlay. That's actually the first time I've heard that, and it sounds like something I don't need anyway. Services shortcuts. 
Service is shortcut. Spotlight shortcuts. Spotlight. I told you I don't use spotlight, so there's no. Actually, I'm gonna go in here and turn it off. Out vertical to change the table. It show spotlight search. <laughs> command space. In show checked. Unchecked. I'm gonna command space. Turn it off because again, I don't use spotlight. Show finder search window. Option command space. Show finder search window. Option command space. In checked. Show unchecked. So I'm turning that off. Now. Out show spot show show spotlight out to vertical sidebar. In services shortcuts. Spotlight short accessibility shortcuts. That's the voiceover shortcut. I'm assuming um, Command F5 to turn it on and off. If you got a touch ID, I think you hold down the Command key and triple click that three times. I'm not gonna go there. Explore on your own time. Application shortcuts. Now this is an interesting one. This is an application shortcut. This is actually where you can set up a shortcut to do something within the app or universally. Function keys. Function keys. Let's go over here because this is where you would set your Function key to be standard. Out of vertical. Use F1, F2, etc. Keys as standard function keys. Off. Use F1. F mine is off because I'm using a third party keyboard and mine works another way. But if you want to use your function keys as standard keyboards or function keys, you have to check that box. When this option is selected, press the FN key to use the special features printed on each key. Done. Alright. Let's go back over to the sidebar. Sidebar. Row 12 and 13. In modifier keys and modifier keys you pretty much know what those are your caps lock key or your voiceover keys now I may come back here later on down the line and show you how to make a function keys application short access application make it application shortcut because I actually have to set those up um, I got a couple that I use in mail ones that I use for moving a file and stuff like that so that my friends is your system settings here with more with the Mac in this section we're going to teach you how to install a third party app probably organize the doc and the app store on how to download Apple apps so let's start with a third party app um, I need to install VLC and Amadeus Pro I mean it's a simple straightforward process but let's go to my download folder command option L Downloads. Left view 24 VLC 3.0.20 Intel 64 DMG disk image alright there's DLC. I need to install this because this is what I use to play some of my media when I'm listening to it on the fly. So, I'm going to DL spacebar. VLC media player window. Icon view. Alright. It always shows up in icon view. I don't like icon view. I switch to list view by command 2. List view. Then I interact. In applications alias. That's the alias. VLC application. And that's the ac actual um, application. So, I'm going to have to copy that. Copy VLC. Copy it to the applications folder. Applications window. Last view. Interact. In the music application. Now I can paste it. Paste item. Copy window. Stop progress. It's going to give us the progress. Applications window. All right, now it's finished. So I'll close applications. Close window. Close window. Downloads window. Close downloads. Close window. Desktop. Now I'm going to go back to the applications folder. Applications window. Interact. Last view. In last Microsoft. Hit D for VLC. VLC application. Now what it's going to do here is ask me if I want to install because it's from a third party. So it's the old space bar. Application. <laughs> Alert. System dialog. VLC is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And of course I Safari do. I downloaded this file yesterday at 4 37 p.m. So it tells you the date and time was downloaded. Open. I'll hit open. Finder. Application. And what you didn't hear is when I first installed a third party app it asked me if I wanted to install Rosetta and Rosetta is the extension that allows apps that are still Intel based to be installed on an M1 so you may get that at first it's one and done you do nothing we say yes and you're good to go but that's basically the process to install an app sometimes when you open it up it's gonna ask you to, to be installed you'll see it's not responding what I do is copy it to the applications folder then open it up because I know that's where it needs to be so that's a pretty straightforward process alright next app I'm gonna do let's go ahead and install another app just to show you an example let's go uh, downloads folder downloads window in last view and I want to get to Amadeus Pro crowd long clapping Amadeus Pro application alright there's an application so I'm gonna actually this is already in my applications folder but when I first downloaded it it automatically be, was an application it wasn't a DMG file so let's go to the applications folder last view 
and I'm going to do it interact news application. We're going to do AM for Amadeus Pro. Amadeus Pro application. Then we're going to VO space bar. Application alert system dialog. Amadeus Pro is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to? Same message. So we'll go over to yes. Open or open. Find applications window. Amadeus Pro app application alert system dialog. Amadeus Pro would like to access the microphone. Now, of course, so you, system dialogue display. so you give it permission to access the microphone because you may do some recording with this app. This is my editing app. Allow. And you hit allow. Amadeus Pro does not respond. Amadeus Pro alert dialog. This copy of Amadeus is unregistered. No, um, whatever. Quit. Finder application. So now that's installed. Close window. Desktop. I mean, like I said, doing apps. Third-party apps is pretty straightforward as long as you give permission. Make sure it's a trusted developer or source. You don't want to install something that's going to cause issues on your Mac. So, since we were doing third-party apps, let's go ahead and jump over to the App Store. <coughs> VOM for the file menu. I mean Finder. Menu bar. Apple. Apple. About this Mac. System settings. Ellipses. App Store. There's the App Store. We're gonna um, hit uh, VO space bar on that. Desktop. Or, or you Apple. can hit Enter. App Store window. Right, Discover. Right. Clifton Miller Sr. Alright, so I'm gonna click on my name here. Account. It says account. 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 I'm gonna interact here. And hooked on spelling. Fat Mac apps, iPhone, and iPad apps. Clifton. Right. Purchased by. Alright, it's saying purchased by, and it will tell you Mac. Hooked on spelling. Mac apps, iPhone, and iPad apps. Clifton. Purchased by. Because you can install some iOS apps onto your Mac. So let's go to the apps that are available. All right, so we're in the Mac apps. So we navigate to the app we want to download. Hooked on spelling. Hooked on math. WhatsApp Messenger. PDF Reader. Able set audiobook binder. March 31st, 2021. All right, here's a, a, a Mac app that I've used very. I don't use very often, so I'm just going to interact here. An audiobook binder. March 31st, 2021. And you, items are and you do the actions menu, which is the VO command space bar. I guess not. Um, Audiobook binder, March 31st, redownload. All right, there's the redownload button. And I think. March 31st, 60, 60 point product lockup view. Dot more product lockup view outlier. March 13th, 2021. Feedly, read more layer. March 13th. All right, here's my um, RSS feed reader that I use. So I'm going to VO. The old command space bar. Actions menu. Redownload. Show menu. Redownload. You can redownload. Redownload layer. March 13th. Feedly. Fluent meet in one for good meter for meet in one for Google Meet. February. I paid for this app, so we're gonna the old command space bar on that. Actions menu. Redownload. Redownload meet in one for Google Meet. February. So as you can see, all you have to do is interact. So let's go back to the beginning. Out of account. One that I'll close the, the app menu. store completely. Yeah. So you'll go to the app store with the, the file menu. Go into the Apple menu. Menu bar. Apple. Apple. About the system setting. App store. App store. Desktop. App store. App store. Window. Discover. Row one of the Clifton Miller Senior. Um. The old space bar on my name. Account. Account. It says account. I interact. It's hooked on spelling. February. There's the list of apps, and I find the one that I want. Bible study. Tap the Bible trip icon plus toolbox for photo plus image editor. Toolbox for page photo. Meet in one for photo toolbox for pages. Toolbox for pages. So your VO command space bar. The actions menu to redownload. It says redownload. Re -download tool so I hit enter. Or, hit into our VO space bar. Photo meeting authenticator app. Oka on archiver. Capital One shot flying B reader. Audiobook by layer. Feedly. Fluent reader. Meet in one for Google Meet. February 5th, 2021. Actions open. Meet in one for meter for zip. See now you're on it. It says that um you uh, it, that you can open instead of redownload. Here's my meter app that I love because it integrates with my calendar. So I'm gonna redownload this one. The old command space bar. Actions menu redownload. Redownload meter desktop verse. December 13th files list export. December 11th. I love this app. Puts everything in a list for you. The old space bar. The old command space bar. Actions and menu redownload. Redownload files list export. So as you can see, it's pretty. Pretty easy to redownload apps that you've already purchased. The Bible Memory app, T-Mobile Digits, November 7th, PDF Office, Acrobat Pro Expert, Action, Redown, Redownload, P PDF Office Pro, RSA Auth, PDF Office Actions, Redown, Redownload, RSA Authenticator, Saker ID, August Music Harbor, Track Easy Music Converter, Actions, Redown, Redownload, e Personal Diary, Journal App, June 23rd, 2019. 
PDF Max Pro, April 4th Actions Menu, Redownload, Redownload, The Document Converter, March 13th Action, Redownload. Re Alright, so here's all my Apple apps. The Unarmed Movie. If you buy a new Mac, it's just going to tell you to authenticate your Apple ID and connect them to it. I already have them, so I'm going to do your command spacebar. Action, Redownload, Redownload iMovie. Redownload iMovie. Keynote, August 20th. Actions menu. Keynote. Redownload. Redownload. And again, all I'm doing is VO, Command Space Bar, down arrow, and it says Redownload. Pages. August Actions Menu. Redownload. Redownload. Numbers. August 20. Actions. Redownload. Redownload. Garage Band. August Actions. Redownload. Redownload. Kids Locks. July Kids Locks. And those are, that's how you download apps from the App Store. Now, let's stop interacting here. Account. Because it does have a little shortcut keys. You can also search with Command F. And let's see what else we have here. Let's let's go into the menu bar. App, apps edit store. In the store store back command left reload page command R. Reload store back command left bracket. And yeah, see that universal command a command left bracket to go back command right bracket to take you forward. Reload, search command F. Search is command F. See all command shift S. Discover command one. Arcade command two. Create command three. Work command four. Play command five. Develop command six. Categories command seven. Updates command eight. Account command zero. Sign out. <laughs> Sign out. That's all. The, there's all your options in the menu bar edit, window. The edit menu. Help. Win store. Or edit. I'm sorry, the store menu. Edit. Men Apple. Apple. App store. Edit. So edit. No. There you have it. The app store. How to search, download apps, re-download apps, and even you know purchase apps. F all right. Finally, we're gonna jump over here to the dock. Finder. And find the first thing in my dock. <coughs> you can go to dock with um, voiceover keys and the letter D, or use the caps lock D, like I just did. That's actually the only thing I use caps lock for, because most keyboards don't have a control key on the right side of the keyboard, so you have to, you know, kind of reach across. Um, so V O D, quick little shortcut with caps lock D will take you directly to the dock. So launch pad. I cannot stand the launch pad. Trainer Matt loves the launch pad. Cliff does not. So, you want a VOM, VO Shift M. Menu. And you get the menu. You go all the way to the bottom. Show launch pad. You can show it. Show launch pad. Remove from dock. Or remove from dock. I don't know if you can hear the sound, but. Finder. Desktop. It does a little. Whoosh, and it's gone. It takes you back to the finder, and I'll go back to the dock. Dock. Finder. Some messages. <laughs> Messages. I have a commander for this, so I have no need for it. So, the O Shift M menu. You can. I'll tell you what your choice. Show you what your choices are here. Options. Options. Show recents. Show recents. Open. Open. <laughs> Show recent options. And the options is you VO right arrow. Options. Remove from dock. You can remove it from the dock. Open at login. Open at login. Show in Finder. Show in Finder. Show in Finder. And that's your last option. Open. Remove from dock. Cliff wants to remove it from dock. Finder. All right. So Desktop. we'll do one more. Dock. Mail. Mail. Another one I have a commander for, so I don't need it on my dock. The old shift M. Menu. Go down to the very bottom. Open. Open. Show recents. Show recents. Options. 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 Remove from Remove dock. Remove from dock. Finder. All Desktop. right. So. Desktop. Dock. The other thing I want to do here Safari. is you can organize your op your apps. So you hold down the option key. And hit whatever direction you want to go. Right now I'm on Safari, so we're going to go right. Safari, move to the right of maps. Safari, move to the right of photos. Or I can go back. Safari, move to the left of photos. Safari, move to the left of maps. And then, you know, that's pretty self explanatory. Maps. And maps is something I definitely don't want on my docs. We're going to deal shift M here. Menu. Options. I hit O for options. Options. Remove from dock. Remove from dock. Finder. <laughs> so, desktop. that's, you know, organizing your dock. And that, my friends, is this session of More With The Mac 2024. Thanks for joining today's session. Didn't get your question answered? Want paid one-on-one -on -one training? Email us at support at ttjtech.biz or support at stirredup.com and remember stir is spelled with a u that's s-t-u-r-i-t-u-p dot com i'm trainer cliff thanks for joining us god bless see you next time